speaking of beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you so I, much. Oh, well, I mean, the wine I, guy, <laughs> beautiful. But I was like, well, this this is a beautiful bottle. I'm all about the aesthetics, you know. I, yeah. I might not know anything about wine, but I'm like, I know that's a good looking Yeah, that's wine part of their bottle. marketing that they do with the rosé <laughs> right? from Provence, France. They and do the fun bottles, and they it's pink, it's beautiful. Yes, yeah. and it's perfect for spring. That's right. I feel like, you know, we should be talking about what are we doing now that it's spring? Is there anything in particular that you suggest that we should be drinking now that the seasons have, well, the winter winter has come and gone? Yeah, wait, so we're not going to be doing the heavier reds now because, you know, you do the, oh. the big steaks and the Cabernet yeah. and all that stuff. That's that's when you want the big heavy reds. So we're okay. moving in the spring, moving in the more salads and lighter fare. Sure. And like we got to get ready for summer, right? You know, say, we, we do yeah. live pretty close to a beach here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be ready for summer. Sure. So we're going lighter, lighter salads. We're doing seafood. Foods, that, that sort of thing. So more whites. So more white wines. Okay. Yes, a little bit of the rosé, okay. a little bit lighter in style, lighter alcohol. A lot of them. It's just, it's nice. It's sipping wine. Be able to sit on your porch, listen to the birds, and oh, you I know. like that. Yeah. You just <laughs> said he just set the whole mood. Did you, did you <laughs> catch right. that? I and like that's, that. That's spring wine. Right? Okay. Yeah. Well, no. and you know what? You bring up a good point because when I think of spring, I think of Easter. I think of a lot more brunches with my girls. Yeah. So what do you suggest? What did you bring with you today? So I, I want to do a very budget friendly, right? And oh, so yes. everything here is fifteen dollars and under. Oh. Right? Okay. Yeah. And some of them are actually like, this was actually that was about twelve dollars, okay. but all of them, like I say, fifteen dollars and under. And so I like to start with Cava, which is sparkling wine made. Oh. Exactly the same way they make champagne, the same exact method. Sure. Champagne entry level is going to be about fifty dollars a bottle and up. Ooh. Right. This is going to be about eight ninety nine. Oh, that's right? not bad. Yeah, yeah. So is you that worth sweeter? No, no, definitely not. Um, so you can do this is cava. They call it. It's from Spain. Mm -hmm. um, they'll do an extra dry cava. They'll do. Uh, they do this Ooh. particular kava, which drinks very it's similar. Light. It's light, easy. It's got the bubbles. Mm -hmm. It's made in the traditional method, just okay. like uh, champagne. So this is a really, really good value because it's it's made really well, and it's usually in the ten dollar range. I love that. Right? Yeah. Who doesn't easy. like that? Yes, okay. That's right. All right. Next. So now we're gonna do a Vouvray. This is a uh, Vouvray is the, the region in France. Okay. Right. And so the grape that they use is called Chenin Blanc. Chenin Blanc. Chenin Blanc, yes. Okay. It's a very pretty wine. Right? Oh and so you're going to get. You're pouring uh, again. Yeah, here you go. Well, you have to taste them. Right? I've Who's already that? tasted Where's all these. Raul? Uh, <laughs> 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 Where is he? He's good at this. Okay. Well, yes. So can, I just, do this uh, can, I, can I sniff and. Yes, of course. Do whatever you like. You so, know, I learned, by the way, sorry, I just have yeah. to, just because I'm a newbie. Yeah. They say, like, you've got to let it sit. For the first time you taste it, like five seconds, you yeah. got to get it all the way around. And That's right, you want to chew the wine. Chew the if wine? If you chew the wine, it'll hit all of your flavor receptors. And then when you go to smell the uh, the wine, you want the rim of the glass to go right up against your nose, right? That way you can smell the whole thing. Mm. Isn't that nice? And it's all light. And I See, I can yeah. appreciate that. These are I'm very gonna... easy, light wines, right? Well, all I right, drank so we're going to use this as our dump oh, bucket okay. here. Here we go. You're not <laughs> so, going to be able to taste any because I drank both. <laughs> so, no, that's OK. I taste them all the time. OK, OK. <laughs> so this is a rosé. This is from uh, Provence. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Provence is a region down in the southern part of uh, France. It's actually the oldest region in France. OK. And so this is where rosé really, I don't want to say started because rosé was made in a lot of different places, but it's what rosé, Provence is known for their rosé. Right? So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. If you're doing like a brunch, sure. if you're hosting a brunch, Rosé or white or sparkling? Which one do you do? All three. All, th oh, all three. <laughs> They're only twelve bucks. <laughs> That's right. So you get your pick. That's right, and then give the rest of the neighbors if you don't finish it, and now all of a sudden cool. you're a good okay. neighbor, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's going to be rosé from Provence, okay. and that's going to go uh, once again really well with lighter style. Um, uh, food, you're going to put that with anything shellfish and that sort of thing. I forget this is only like 11, 11 and a half percent, I think, something like that. Okay. Whereas a lot of the California wines are 14, 15 percent alcohol. Right, right. These, a lot of the French wines are going to be in that 10 to 12 percent range. That's probably right? better. Yes. For some well, of us lightweights. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's definitely right. better. And then that one, you can just, like you said, sip and savor and then you can just enjoy. That's right. And, and we'll go with anything uh, Easter wise. Now we got to finish with one, one red more. wine real quick. 
Is this All your right. party pick? This is well. This is for the red wine drinkers that show up and say, "Oh, I want to drink white wine or uh -huh. rosé or sparkling wine because I don't know whatever reason." Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is uh, called, from Beaujolais. It's another region that's within, within France. Yeah, a lot of people have heard Beaujolais Nouveau, mm -hmm. which comes out with all the colorful labels. Yes. That wine is good for three weeks and then you throw it away. Oh. Um, this you can have for a couple of years, right? Okay. And this is going to be your red wine. It's made with a grape called Gamay. Gamay? Yes. Okay. Yep. And so that is from the uh, the region of Beaujolais, which sits within Burgundy, which is where Pinot Noir is from. Still very light. Very light. Easy okay. To drink. Yeah. I got it. So, so that's our that's our theme here, right? We're yes. doing the spring wines are going to be lighter in style, a little bit more fun, lighter alcohol, mm -hmm. so you can have a lot of fun with them. Right. And you did say something about salads because we're preparing for summer. That's right. Summer, summer is going to get <laughs> with, with that long winter we just had. You know. It's going to get the body we give it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's going to, that's what it's going to get. That's In any right. case, um, how about for the people who want to vote for the Whiny Awards? Oh, yes. Is yeah, that still definitely. Optional? I mean, oh, 100%. That, right? oh, yeah, perfect. we've got about 10 days left on the vote. Wonderful. Um, uh, they'll, uh, I know there's a link that's posted on the um, Scene oh, on tab. Yeah. Um, but also, I'll be putting things out social media, all that stuff. So we've got all that coming out. So vote, here's the vote, thing. Vote. We got to follow Will the Wine Guy on social media, like he just said. And then you go to our website, The Scene on Tab. So fox5sandiego.com, click The Scene on Tab, vote. It's vote. time for the Winey Awards. <laughs> and I love it. So now I, um, yeah, I don't know a whole lot, but if he says to bring all of them to the brunch, bring them all. Invite me. <laughs> and I'll bring right. all. I'll bring all. <laughs> Will, thank you it. so yes, much. Definitely. Thank you so much. All right. So